Hey, I'm Steven from Snowjo, and today I'm going to do another installment in our video series entitled Let's Open the Box. Today I'm going to go over the Sunjo SDJ 616. It's our leaf shredder and mulcher. Let's open the box. Now that we've taken all of the items out of the box, let's review the names of each of the individual components so there's no confusion. Here's our motor housing for our shredder, Joe. Here is the funnel cover. Here's our funnel. And inside the triangular white box, you'll find the adjustable legs. Make sure you don't accidentally throw those out. Over here, you'll find our user manual and instruction guide. It's available in three languages, English, French, and Spanish. And then you'll see the yellow registration card. Now to register your product, you can either go online or you can just mail in the card. Lastly, you'll find replacement tines and string for the unit in the event that if you break it, it's really easy to replace. If you bought this unit as part of a bundle, it may have come with the leaf scoops, and a pair of glasses. Now the leaf scoops, which we call the Raker Joes, are also available for purchase separately if you didn't get it uh, in the bundle. Remember, always wear your glasses. Safety first. Now we're going to assemble this unit and one of the wonderful things about this is that there are no tools required. Let's put it together. The first step in assembling your unit is to attach the legs to the motor housing. So to do this, what you'll do is you'll loosen this piece right here, extend the leg fully initially, just up to the four, and then you can screw that back to tighten that back into place. To attach the leg to the unit, you'll see there's a little button on the top. All we'll do is bring this up into the first position, and you'll wiggle that to get that into place. Then you'll have to push the button in just so you can advance the leg and then it'll snap right into place just like that. Then the next step will be to repeat this for the other two legs. Now that we have the legs assembled, I want to just take one quick minute just to show you how to replace the string in the event that it gets broken. So, all you do is take one of the pieces of string out of the bag that's supplied, and then you're going to take out the existing string that's broken. To remove that string that's broken, all we'll do is take the piece and simply push it up through the hole. Push both sides, and then all you'll do is just simply pull it straight out, discard that piece. Now, what we'll do is with our replacement line, what we'll do is again, we'll feed it through the hole and then make sure it's even, just like you would for shoelaces. And then all you gotta do is feed it back through that hole that's right here. Here's one side. And then do the same for the other. Now, that's pretty close. If you want to adjust it a little bit, you can just push one side back and pull on the other if you wanted to even that out just a bit to make them perfect, just like that. So the next step in the installation process is to attach the funnel onto the motor housing. So what you'll see is on the unit, there's a little notch. And what you'll see here is that there's a matching notch. It's just a single individual groove on the inside piece, so it only fits in one place. If you try and put it in any other place, it'll sit up a little bit. So we just put that in right there. Okay, and then all you'll do is with these clips, it goes up just a little bit and then pushes down. You'll see it snap into place. There's a matching one on the back side. Just do the same thing. You simply bring that in, snap it into place. Then the final step is to attach your cover to the funnel. And that just goes in and you'll hear it snap into place and you just do that all the way around. I hope you've enjoyed this instructional video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact customer service or visit us online. Thank you for choosing Snowjo and Sunjo.